And this is tiny. Oh my days, this is so small. <laughs> really small. Wow. Hi everyone, welcome to Science of Fashion, a sewing platform where you will learn how to revive, restore, redeem and renew your garments to start your fashion business. So this video is all about how to find a sewing machine that's within the budget and doesn't take too much space. And I recommend, you know, looking for sewing machines that are within your space, within your budget. And also, what is the end goal? What is, what, what is it you want to do? Do you want to start your own fashion business? Then I will recommend investing in a sewing machine that is going to last. Something that is hardware, something that is, you know, has like sewing tutorials already around it. Um, and is able to find tools about it as well so that's what I recommend check the video I already spoke about it so I'm not gonna go over it but this is just a review on sewing machines that I found on Amazon in May 2021 these sewing machines were under 100 pounds at the moment of filming <laughs> so I'm going to unpack and review the first sewing machine that I really was excited to look for and as a brother so the brother but LS1242, that's a sewing machine that I really looked forward to having. And if I didn't have my own sewing machine, Mr. Singer, I already have a sewing machine, then I would definitely have gone for this one because this one looks to me a really good deal. But we'll see, we'll try it out and see how it sews. This is a brother sewing machine. And yeah, you can see the instructions. It's really good that they have like how you, you know, unpack it which is really good so that's quite clear to me so I'm just going to open it up it says three year guarantee which is good you know you have a bit of packaging here oops look at that it has a bag of tools which is great you have a zipper foot which is good some bobbins some um, button you can make your buttonholes. Oh my God, they have needles as well that comes with it. That is so handy. I'm actually loving this. I really, really am. I'm already excited. Ooh. Let's feel, let's see how heavy it is. It's not too heavy. It's not too heavy, but it's not light either. <laughs> what I like about it already, and I will show you what I like about it already. And I feel like every sewing machine needs to have this. Is a set of instructions of how to do the bobbing <laughs> really really important so you know this is where your bobbing goes it's almost all sewing machines have the same setup this is how you your your thread goes you hold the thread it goes in here goes in there goes all the way up in out into your sewing needle and that's what normally does happen so okay so this it's actually where you keep your accessories, which is what I have as well for my singer. So you keep your accessories here and I keep it nice and, and easy. So the accessories that I see here is a screwdriver. Um, this is for your zip, your zipper feet, your needles, your buttonhole, so that you can make your buttonholes, extra spools, which is good, extra bobbins, I mean, which is good. And also if you're doing sleeves or anything that is curved and you need to go around tricky parts, you can take this off and do that. You can see the bobbing in here. There's an illustration here as well, which is really good. As this goes forward, there is like different stitching that you can do it's going back and forward. And what I really like is instructions and every beginner needs instructions. So it's very clear with images. Well, step one, two, three, what you should be doing and also like instructions for buttonholes. So that is really good. It's quite clear and easy to understand. Yeah, it's very a simple, straightforward one, I will feel. That seems to be the case. Um, so I'm gonna thread it and then you're gonna see how I thread it. Okay, so how do you thread up your sewing needle? So first thing first, always when you thread up, make sure that your thread is going away from you. Just, just it goes to that direction, yeah? This direction. <laughs> so you go to this part then you go to here then you go all the way on the neat 
to the hole here go to there then there's another part that you have to go to then you go to your sewing machine your sewing needle which is quite a lot of parts you have to go through i think it can be easier i don't know what about you what do you think let me know i want to do is i want to thread the bobbing that is here to have thread yes oh look he can lift it up look at that Thread all the bobbing normally you go back always twist it in by hand first so it stays and then so you can see it spins that direction it goes like that okay every time when you want to wind the bobbing make sure this is clicked in once done move it out or else you won't be able to sew so that's one part of how to wind the bobbing Okay, so this is the part where a lot of beginners make mistakes, is putting the bobbing in the right direction. Please follow your manual <laughs> to make sure the bobbing is in the right direction. So what you want to do is if you look at the picture here, there's a picture, you know, it says what's the right way and what's the wrong way. So what is the right way of doing this? So if I look at the picture, my thread is going in that direction okay then what it wants to do is you want to put it in plunk it in there a part where you have to slide it through and that is how you put it there is a picture that is a diagram please follow the diagram and that's why i like sewing machines the new sewing machines where they just make things really straightforward and they have like diagrams so as you can see there's a diagram here that you can easily follow there is a glove that you go through you go through there and then you put it on the other side okay then you place this back in i think it's this direction yes it is and what i normally tend to do is i hold my thread i pull it through and that's how i know that i'm ready to start sewing and i pull it through the other side that's what i normally do okay so let's start sewing and see what we can do with this how does this sew how does it sew okay so we're going to start sewing with Ankara fabric, you know, some of our Africans we have Ankara fabric, so we're just gonna sew one stitch. Um, I don't really tend to touch the settings, I mean, they put the settings there, you can change the tension of it. Whenever you feel the tension is too tight, you loosen it, and if it's too loose, you tighten it. But I, I think four between four and three is a good tension you have your stitches i'm doing number 11 which is like your straight stitch um i can make it smaller or can make it bigger i can have my zigzag stitches and my button stitches and what i like as well is they done it in inches and they done it in millimeters which is great so you know 10 millimeters is one centimeters 15 is 1.5 centimeters so that is really good it's not loud that's not too bad not too bad let's do denim and see how denim works so you can lift your feet up with the back of the lifter there's a lifter here you can go back and forward with this the reverse and there's a cutter here as well if you want to cut it this is your denim back of your denim I think it's a little bit too loose for my liking to be very honest with you um, I think the tension can be a little bit better now we're gonna do jersey now so let's do a straight stitch and then do a zigzag stitch afterwards and just see how that works yeah I will normally do zigzag <laughs> for jersey <laughs> it's nice and smooth you know it's not too bad I actually don't mind it it's not too bad not too bad Okay, and let's do light chiffony fabric and see how that works. I think this sewing machine is able to handle all, all type of fabrication. This is this is the one that I would choose if I was a beginner sewer. I actually believe so. It's nice and easy. It's not difficult to understand. I'm liking this one actually. I like how it sews. 
Now the next part is where everybody thread, but I thread it. I don't like doing buttons. I just don't like doing buttons. <laughs> so you can see the diagram. You do A first, it goes horizontal stitches. Then you do B to go vertical stitches. Then you do A again, horizontal, and then you do D, vertical. So we'll see how this goes like this is how I want my button to be <laughs> so just make sure that it goes there and then you have to mark doing the bottom of your stitching five to six stitches so put it on the left hand side of the material then change it to be B so now it's gonna go back that's about it so we're going to C do five to six stitches right hand side of the then you go back to D and you sew it back I mean it's not too bad okay and then we're done okay it's not too bad do like five to six stitches and not too much because if you do too much you have all of this showing through but yes and then what you will do you have to cut it through tip is use fusing so fuse the part that you're going to have your buttons um, inside so then when you cut it it doesn't fray so fuse the part that you're gonna put your buttons fuse here inside then sew your stitches and then when you cut through it doesn't fray or you can cut it and then put like um, glue to stop it from fraying but you don't want it to fray when you cut through it so that's a tip okay so this is quite good i'm actually quite chuffed with this sewing machine and i actually knew that i'm gonna like the sewing machine anyway because a is from brother b is quite straightforward and it's a simple design it's easy to follow, it's easy to understand the instructions as well. There are sewing tutorials online that you can look online for it. And yes, I actually really don't mind this sewing machine. So this is, a, I think it's a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, the only reason why it's not a 10 is because it's quite bulky and if you don't have enough space or room to place the sewing machine, then it's going to be in your way. Plus, there's no cover for the sewing machine. So, you know, if you're not sewing, it will have to go in a box. You might use the plastic to go over it, but I will recommend using cover. If you're not somebody who's always sewing, then this will not really be helpful for you either. This is really for someone who wants to start, you know, sewing for a hobby or sewing for a business and need a sewing machine that they will be using all the time. This is exciting. So you have your you have your foot pedal that goes in the back here. You have your charger that goes in here. It's quite straightforward. It's already been threaded for you. So you can actually start. You don't need to thread it up. Whereas the brother, I had to thread it up before I can actually start. But as you can see, the same as the brother, they all have the same setup. This is where you wind your bobbing. This is where you thread up your thread goes through the spool here down the line there up and down it has diagrams so you can't miss it it has a glove or a hole that you go through then it goes to the needle and i'm actually quite happy that it already has it already threaded up so it's quite good this is this is low this is high you have different functions so this wheel is for the pants like this is the tension and this is back and forth this is basically a mini sewing machine which is really really great and i only had it for like 25 pounds and the brother is 80 but a brother is more heavy duty whereas this i don't think this is going to be very heavy duty so we will see how this goes if you are lacking in space um, then this should be really good okay oh so this is speed so no need a sewing machine you have the on and off button and then you i haven't done this so this is this you can function with your hands alone and and then do it or you can use your pedal it's really fast you know so i'm going to use the anchor fabric and see how that looks like compare it with the brother stitching it does make a lot of noise don't you hear that the noise level on this is very high not a fan of noise very high very high noise um not so bad not too bad the tension not too bad the tension the stitching not too bad, it's almost the same. I'm gonna use chiffon and see how it works on that because chiffon is really difficult to do. The only good thing with a brother, if you have like a normal sewing machine, is that you have a selection of 
feet that you can choose from. There's accessories that you can have on this one. Doesn't seem to be many. You can't have many accessories on this. So it really is for your basic sewing. Mm. It is eating up my chiffon. Whereas with the, with the brother, I didn't do that. Look how it does with my chiffon. The brother didn't do that. It's quite tight on the chiffon, so I might have to do a loose thread on that. Then for let's do jersey. Although I did denim, but normally jersey I'll use zigzag. But I want to see how this does. It's very loud. It's very loud. I don't like the fact that it's so loud. If you have children, or cannot do this while they're sleeping. Tension is not too bad. It's actually almost the same as the brother. Although the brother is like. You know what you would normally clasp that the stitch length is quite long and see how it does on denim mm, I don't like the stitch length on this I don't like the stitch length on this I think it can be tighter but um, I think you can change it the only thing that I can say there's not a little light to um, see what you're doing but you know you just have to wear what you have to be honest with you it's quite a nice light um, product so this one we are going to do the button this is what we all struggle with this is what I struggle with so I'm not gonna pretend that I know everything so I'm just marked what kind of button I want to make and we're going to lift it up um, whenever you're changing your needles and stuff make sure it's off <laughs> make sure it's off you know so you don't accidentally go in through your hand it has happened and this needs to face towards you there's a handle at the back here and that needs to be clicked in place okay okay so what you want to do is as the same as the other one the brother we are going to sew downwards so we're going to top down, then cross, then go back again, and then again. So, then from the top, we're going to go all the way down. So that, they say, is function number seven. So we have to select function number seven. I thought I would actually press this. It would be easy if it was like something you can press, like beep, 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 beep. But no, in this case, you have to turn the wheel. Okay, it doesn't move for me, I have to move it. Okay, and then we press up function number eight. It's quite stiff. Okay, as I said, only five to six stitches, so I'm gonna go there. Then we go option seven, which, I, you know what, because I see this, I tend to do this. <laughs> Maybe it's safe because I'm actually having my needle. Okay, you know, take your needle out so that it does, so it actually moves. And then I have to go back. Now I have to go function eight and go across it. It's not as easy as the brother one. The brother is much easier because it actually goes with you. So the machine, you you know, I didn't move the brother feet. It actually goes it stitches automatically in the direction that it needs to go to whereas with this one you have to control your stitching so you have to move your fabric in the direction it's supposed to go to i can't say it's the perfect first time i think i have to try it a couple of times to actually understand but compared to my brother brother only once and look how more successful i've been on my brother but this it's okay it's okay overall it's a cutie it really is a cutie um yeah i think it's quite a nice little sewing machine to have if you're not an avid sewer and you just want to you know mend things or you want to do an upcycling project i won't say it's something they i will not use this for my business um i will use this for my hobby hobby stuff um but not for business if you want to do a fashion business then i would not recommend having this type of machine i would recommend the brother 
but for anyone that's a hobby sewist and you know want to try into sewing don't have the space uh, or time to do it also or even money then it's a really good one to start doing you have your reverse you have your bobbin that comes through you can actually see in the inside that that's your bobbin it's easy to follow you have more than one type of stitch which is good you have a zigzag stitch you have your buttonholes which you can do and your straight stitching um, yeah quite easy to use actually and it also operates on a battery so you can have batteries for this as well which is amazing i didn't knew that let's have a look here oh look there's like a compartment compartment for your accessories which is great um yeah and batteries so you can have batteries so if you want to work on batteries you can you can travel with it so it's really nice and easy look very nice and easy and lightweight you can place it wherever you can up in your shelves you know whenever you don't need to use it it's easy i will say easy okay last but not least is the magic fly and that's also around 25 pounds and I've seen this one and to be honest when I received this it's all damaged my box which I don't understand why this is not me this is delivery which is not great look look at the damage of my box and that's not me so so many damaged the box which is not great um, but yeah it has tools as well very nice a box within a box I will say quite a lot of packaging has manual Oh, 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 look at that. It actually has a cover, which is really good. It has a cover. And it has a table. So you can use if you want to put it up. Table has like measurements, which is quite good. Your, two, your kits, your sewing kits. Look at that, all the so you know your thread i mean your thread your tape measure treader mini scissors arm picker sewing needle that's really good that's quite good you know you have your um, plug and your little pedal and then of course you have extra bobbies and, and another thread as well um it's that's quite a lot you know <laughs> it's very light looks like a toy to me i would say what i don't like is the fact that you know you can't do buttons if you want to do buttons you only can do straight stitch um there's a light here which the amazon one doesn't have they have no light function so this has a light function and it goes on and off so you can use with your hands high speeds low speeds it has a pedal which is great you have a pedal you are able to change the tension if you want to it's already tried it up which is great and yes and it has like accessories as i've shown you know you can use accessories and it has like a little manual with pictures so you can actually understand what's going on and it has a guard as well so that you don't put your hands through your it has a treader which is good also one thing i do like and i have to say so you can see the bobbin that goes through there. So it's quite good. You can also have like a battery. So if you wanna, you don't wanna use your plug, you can use battery function. So I'm just using a power Oh, 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 it came undone. I mean, the turning up of it doesn't seem to be that complicated, to be honest with you. Every sewing machine, the way you thread it is all the same. Honestly, all of them are the same. Once you have one sewing machine, you will not have to do all the others. So it's not difficult to thread up a sewing machine once you've done it a couple of times. So if you have a threader of a sewing machine, you put your threader through the hole, which is obviously, as you can see, flexible. Yeah. Then you put your thread through the hole I mean, it's so big you can't miss it okay and then you pull it through voila easy push your thread to the back and now you continue to sew so you can cut it and let's have a look 
yeah it, you can't even see the difference between um, the Amazon one and um, this one you can't even see the difference let's do denim and see if we can see a difference there so we're just gonna go next to it I've noticed that I have to use my I have to wheel it in and then it starts very interesting so the stitch length isn't too different to the Amazon one but the Amazon one is more in line with the the Prada the tension on here is okay it's okay it, and I'll do my jersey and I have to put my needle in first and then sew it, the stitch length on this is bigger compared to your Amazon one it's tight, it's good, it's tight. Now we're gonna do the chiffon. As you can see, the Amazon was pulling my fabric. So let's see what this one will do. It is pulling the fabric, but not as much. The Amazon was really pulling my fabric. So, you know, there's not much to this one actually. It's very light, um, easy to travel with. You can put your big, uh, bigger, you know you can go up and down it's a, it's a function that you can actually change this tension of it you can change the tension and yeah it's just really straightforward but would i buy this no probably not it's too fiddly for me you know you, you have a young child that wants to start sewing and you just want something that's quite easy to for them to explain and this is a good good one to show them but i would not stay with this one this is not right for a hobbyist um, anyone who's taking up sewing as a hobby, don't use this. Anyone who wants to start sewing as a, a business, don't use this. This is not for business. This is more for children. I would say this is for kids. That is my opinion. And you're, you're entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> okay? So which one would you go for? Would you go for the brother, the Amazon Basics, or the Magic Fly? Let me know. Comment below. Like and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye!